So now that we've added all the files that we want to add to our system and we've created a program ready to send this out to our installer who's going to then take this file and transfer it to our master on site. So basically the way that we want to do that is that we want to export our workspace because if we just try to send them our APW file, that's not going to work. We need to create what's called a workspace to go file. So the way that we do that is if we go to project and then we click export workspace files to go. First it's going to ask us do we want to save our changes and yes we do. And now it's going to ask us where do we want to put our AXW file. And this AXW file is basically a zipped file that's going to contain our APW file, our workspace file, but also our program file and our IR files and everything else that we have in our workspace and it's going to package them all up into a zip. And so basically the defaults are going to work here fine. You can adjust your file name and the workspace name here, but we're going to leave all of this the same. And it says, do you want to export the full workspace or just an active project or system? Go ahead and export the whole workspace. And there's some other options here if you want to read through and see. But basically, for most purposes, it's good to just go ahead and leave the defaults and click on export. All right, so we've exported our workspace, and we can see that our export file built successfully. So that basically means that our AXS file worked fine, and it's all ready to go. And so we can just click OK. And if we want to import a workspace, we do that pretty much the same way. If we go to File, Open Workspace, we can go to the location of where our workspace file was. We just change the type of file to an export to go file. And we can see my first workspace file.axw. And that's our AXW file. And if we click open, it can ask us where do we want to extract to. And we can either leave it in the same folder, but I'm just going to do an imported subfolder. Do extract. And it's going to create my imported folder for me. And do yes. AXW file extraction complete. And there we go. Now we can see that everything that we had in our previous system, including our IR file, is still in our new workspace. And we can actually open my first program and everything is there. So everything is self-contained in that single file. And you can then just send someone that AXW and everything else will be contained inside of it. And so that's how you use workspaces.